Okay guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to integrate ClickFunnels into a WordPress site. Here we go. Okay guys, so for the first step, we are going to install ClickFunnels plugin. All right, so we are going to go into our WordPress uh, backend dashboard, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go to plugins and we're gonna do add new. We're gonna just search for click funnels. Comes right up, we're gonna go ahead and install. We're gonna activate it. Step two, going to add API and email in settings. Okay guys, so step two, we're going to add API and add the email in the settings section of the dashboard. So here we go, we're in ClickFunnels, let's see plugins. Okay, here it is right over here, okay? So now we're gonna go to settings. And you'll see it needs an, an account for email and also authentication token or, or API. So, um, you're just going to use the same email that's associated with your ClickFunnels account, which will be located right here. So to get your API token, you're going to go to account and account details. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to hit expand on the WordPress API and we're going to copy and paste that right into that authentication token and we're gonna add the email, we're gonna hit save settings. Okay guys, now for step three. Okay guys, now that you have integrated ClickFunnels into your WordPress site, now you have to figure out, okay, what do I wanna do with this? And so the goal is obviously to set a, to have a funnel associated with your WordPress site. So you can create a whole separate page and do a forward slash, you know, whatever the funnel is, and it goes right into that and it looks just like your sales funnel. There's also a way to do these things that are called click pops. Essentially, that's just a thing that pops right up on the screen where you can, uh, where you can have your customers enter their name and email and get them subscribed to a list. So I'm going to show you those things and how um, I've had to get access to that. So. You're gonna to go to your side panel here. You're gonna to go to Click Funnels, and I will show you here. You can add pages now. Once again, that is like um, just adding, you know, after the fact. You know, mywordpresssite.com forward slash funnel, and then um, then you can send buttons to that, and then you can drive traffic to whoever is visiting your WordPress site easily. To the funnel because it's the same you same uh, URL. Um, here are some short codes. Um, now this is something that you can do. Um, you can embed code. For instance, you can embed um, the actual funnel into a WordPress page, just a section of it. Um, you can also create these click pops, which once again, um, it's a you know you're viewing the screen and then up in three seconds this pops up says, hey, join our email list, please enter your name and email here. That's how you would do that. Um, you do have to go into click funnels and add a funnel step. And that step, you have to select um, click pop. I will show you how to do that right now. So we're gonna go to add step. We're gonna do click pop example so you're adding a whole new step within your funnel and when you choose a template you have to choose this right here the click pop so we're going to do that and then we're going to select this template and once you've done that you can go back into here and you choose let's see start funnels and we're going to choose page which will be click pop example okay and once you have that then 
once again, oh, so then, sorry, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to copy and paste this code and insert it into um, your homepage or the footer widget or something like that, and then that is how you can integrate it. Okay, guys, that is the conclusion of our video explaining how to connect ClickFunnels to a WordPress site. If you have any questions, please comment. If you like the video, give it that thumbs up, and you guys have an awesome day.